Hello SMK Buford 3 in Sabah and welcome to New York City. Behind me is Manhattan and right now we are on Liberty Island and I'd like to invite you to take a walk with me in New York City. This is the Statue of Liberty and the Statue of Liberty is a gift from the people of France to the people of the USA. And why do I say the people? Um, I used to think that this gift was from the government of France, but actually it's not. Um, the Statue of Liberty was actually crowdfunded, as in like, this is actually a cooperation between um, the people of the US and the people of France, where um, the people of France they collected money and donations from the public to build this statue um, and the people of the US collected money to build this pedestal that it stands on. It was really easy for the people in France to collect money for the statue. They believed in the grand vision of the statue which is to celebrate liberty and uh, the winning of the Civil War um, by the Union. But on the US side, they had difficulty getting funds so the construction of this pedestal was actually delayed quite a few times and interesting story is they only achieved a breakthrough in the fundraising when Pulitzer announced that he would publish every donation no matter how small for example they would be oh 50 cents from the lady under the bridge or uh, 20 cents from the man serving you coffee and it really captured the imagination of the people in New York and the donations started pouring in then and they managed to raise enough funds to build the pedestal. You can actually come all the way up here to the pedestal but you gotta book your tickets early and you can also go all the way up to the crown of the Statue of Liberty but you gotta book those tickets even more earlier. It used to be you can go to the torch as well but you know for safety concerns they unfortunately barred people from going up there in 1916. From the pedestal you still get to see a lot of the city. You get to see Manhattan right there behind me um, and a lot of the port. The Statue of Liberty was actually modeled after the Roman goddess of freedom, of liberty. Um, her name is Libertas and on one hand she holds a torch and this torch used to be a real torch and the Statue of Liberty used to be a real lighthouse but now the torch has been replaced by a golden top so it's not really functioning anymore and on her other hand she's holding a tabula ansata which is a Roman tablet and inscribed on that tablet is July 4th 1776. Guess what date that is? It's the date of the US Declaration of Independence. This statue was placed here because immigrants to this country would always go past the statue and the first thing that they'd see when they come to the USA is this beautiful lady here welcoming them. How amazing would that sight be? I mean if I had this awesome statue welcoming me when I came to this country. <laughs> I'd be awed. 40% of all current US citizens can trace at least one relative back to Ellis Island here. This place used to be a place where a large majority of immigrants would come to first. This is their port of entry. Underneath the Statue of Liberty are inscribed these words from a poem. It says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. This statue is the ultimate symbol of freedom, not just in the US, but I think all around the world. Let me take you on a little walk of Liberty Island.
are now at the backside of the Statue of Liberty, and that was the entrance to the pedestal and the crown of the Statue of Liberty. The statue, what color is it now? It looks pale green, right? So the statue is actually made out of copper, and originally the statue was actually brown, like um, like the one cent coins that we have. And over the years, erosion, you know, like exposure to the sun, to rain, to snow, has eroded the copper and turned it into this pale purple, a uh, pale purple, pale green shade. And I think it kind of looks nice, aged. They actually used, believe it or not, 90,800 kilos of copper to make the statue. And guess how many people come to the Statue of Liberty every year? One million? Two million? 3.2 million people came to the Statue of Liberty to visit um, in 2009. So I guess the number has probably significantly increased by now. Guess how high the statue is? As you can see here, the statue is not really that tall. How many meters? 10? 20? So the statue is actually 46 meters tall and the whole thing from the tip to the bottom is 93 meters. So it's not really that tall. questions for you to talk about with your classmates or discuss with your teachers in class. Um, first question is, what's your favorite monument in your city or state? And question two is, what does that monument, what does it represent? And number three, if you had the opportunity to choose a new monument for your city, what would you choose and why? That's it from me in New York City. I hope to visit SMK Beaufort 3 one day. And remember to keep practicing your English and keep speaking English every day. Ta-ta!